Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And you know, I've been a little too humble lately. The nutritional genius, in my opinion, is an adequate title. Especially considering that over the past few years, I've seen social media influencers, entire businesses make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars off of my own ideas while censoring my channel so people don't find out where they got that information from. Uh, that being said, we're going to have a lot of vegetable seed oils in this cheat day, so keep in mind that as long as a certain percentage of fat in your diet does not exceed maybe 3 or 4% from linoleic acid, you're okay. <laughs> we're definitely doing that today. so. I don't suggest doing this every single day. I've been kind of lazy lately. I haven't had time to cook. I've been exhausted. So, you know, for me to grab some of these foods and have them, of course, it's 100% better if you can make it yourself. That being said, let's take a look at what we got today. We are having a steak sandwich with chips, organic bread alone sourdough bread, organic flank steak from Frankie's Strange Meat. We have some vegan mayo, which I will get into explaining. And the main negative thing today is these uh, tortilla chips, white corn, that are fried in usually some type of vegetable seed oil, canola, safflower. And again, make these yourself. Only negative thing in. Sometimes I have potato chips, but one day they ran out of these, so I just tried that. I like toasting the bread, but this doesn't fit in this toaster, so I usually you know, do it once and then I'll flip it and then go a little longer. So this is one of the flank steak options we have on Frankie's Strange Meat. You know, sometimes some of our farmers have like an overstock from a distributor and we get something special, but most of the time we just have actually the whole flank steak sold in a two pound portion. And the reason I like flank for steak sandwiches is because it's very easy to cut, it's pretty lean, and it has a nice flavor and texture. I'm just gonna pat it dry. I have some of the land salt from Frankie's Strange Meat. And be very careful with this salt, guys. It's very potent. Most other salts you have to put a lot on, but this tastes overly salty in comparison. A saltier salt. I'll just crack a little bit of black pepper on one side. So we have our steel fry pan here, a little bit of coconut oil. So while the steak is searing and the bread is toasting, I'm going to explain why I'm using a vegan mayonnaise. Now before I found this, I was actually just putting some coconut oil on the bread before I toasted it in the oven and I would put a little bit of mustard which was very very delicious and I said hey is there a mayonnaise in the store that I could actually eat I don't consume dairy now because it's very high in calcium not good for my current diet and eggs are very high in sulfur I also do not tolerate them at all so no eggs no dairy kinda hard to have mayonnaise but this isn't bad they use high oleic sunflower oil so the linoleic acid content is much lower organic chickpeas you know, not the end of the world. Lemon juice, not bad. Distilled vinegar, not bad. There are some additives. Acacia gum, xanthan gum, rosemary extract, black pepper, citric acid, mustard extract, and lemon oil. So it's actually not too horrible, you know. To have this once or twice a week on a sandwich, to me, is not the end of the world. Of course, the coconut oil-mustard combo would be a lot healthier. Now, I've been enjoying this. Uh, the past few days. You know, I went to a restaurant a couple weeks back. I had a nice steak sandwich that had a aioli on it. I was kind of craving it. So this is what I've been using. Sir Kensington's Classic Vegan Mayo. Not the worst thing out there. We got our bread toasted. Steak's been resting a minute and the flank steak, it's very easy to see the grain. So we're just going to cut a few strips. So I like quite a bit of mayo, maybe 200 to 300 calories worth. So about two tablespoons. Put the diced steak on top. Cut it in half. You guys are probably gonna think I'm trolling eating this shit. <laughs> Am I, is the question. Am I trolling? What do they say on TikTok now? The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. I'm losing my fucking mind, basically. As usual, we have our water kefir. I'm having the pineapple today, which I've really been enjoying. So this bottle on the right, is what I had last night with dinner and it's just been sitting on the counter so it's room temperature. Bottle on the left is a new one that was kind of cold in my garage so what I like to do is you know strain them a second time even though we already strained them at the warehouse and I'll probably have three glasses total with the meal. 
So we have our mayonnaise sandwich. I got my pineapple hooch, AKA the water kefir. And the culprit today is these organic tortilla chips. And as I said earlier, they're using seed oil. So I should not be eating these one bag, maybe once a month isn't the end of the world. However, I've been having too much of this. So make your own potato chips yourself or French fries yourself. Don't get something with vegetable seed oils. Unfortunately, there's nothing in the supermarket that doesn't get fried in that. And uh, I don't you know, have the time right now to make these myself. So I should be using something different. However, these white corn chips kind of agree with my stomach. I don't feel too horrible after eating them. Uh, I might do like a, a bean dip for chips uh, as a recipe in a week or two, but I'm just having these plain. Supplement wise, I'll show you guys in a little bit. We got the water key for grains, some charcoal and some mastic gum. carnivore diet to uh, steak and mayonnaise sandwiches. I'm still waiting to have a heart attack. Uh, so one time I went to the supermarket on a Monday and like all the shelves were sold out because everyone went shopping Sunday the day before. And instead of getting the regular potato chips, I got these and these are actually pretty good even on their own. This new pineapple flavor is so so good apple lemon is also delicious i'm not sure if we're sold out so maybe i'll try to get some more pineapples in next week i'm going to fill up the water kefir again now if you're not doing too good you might want to just have like a cup of water kefir and have some more grains me i just have like three cups of water kefir with the grain so again sensitive stomach have a couple teaspoons of grains with the meal instead of drinking the water kefir so once i have half of my sandwich i'll take the water kefir grains and you want to start with a teaspoon, but I'm kind of doing a tablespoon now. And this is just a more complex probiotic bacteria and yeast culture uh, that's going to help me digest even more. I think I said it uh, a week or two ago that, you know, I was still breaking out a little bit on occasion, but once I eat the grains in addition to having the kefir to drink, completely clears up. And we also have the mastic gum, guys. I'll take maybe a teaspoon of the pebbles. If you guys are curious where to get any of this stuff, frank .com. The steak, Frankie's strange meat, the mastic gum is on organ supplements, and the water kefir and the kefir grains are on Frankie's freerangefoods.com. I may have another bite of my mayonnaise sandwich. I'm kind of like a clean freak. Like after I get food on my hands and mouth, I got to completely clean it after every single bite. And that's a good thing because, you know, in my business applications, like I'm really meticulous and organized about everything. On the other hand, you know, when like some girl asked me to, you know, dive down into her muff, uh, not my thing, not my thing. It's like an open wound, you know, fucking who knows what's coming out of there. That's what the water keeper's for. If I'm completely blasted, I'll do anything. I mean, I'll talk about it more this weekend, but it's like life sucks now, you know? Everyone's lost their mind. Everyone's crazy. Everyone's brainwashed. I'm just like completely censored on every social media platform I try to go on, so can't even talk about it. All right, on to glass number three. And guys, I'm doing God's work. I'm showing you guys. You can go home, have a mayonnaise steak sandwich with some chips and, some, and get drunk and blasted and still fix your liver. Literal God's work. You know, it's an interesting contrast when you actually have high quality food. You know, you have your own fermented water kefir, organic steak sandwich, high quality potato chips versus the, the normie who just goes to the gas station, gets a bag of chips, some beer and a deli sandwich and is poisoning himself. But now you can, hey, have fun and be healthy. Don't girls eat like pineapple so their coochie smells better? Should I put that under the um, product description for the pineapple kefir? May make your private parts more enjoyable. Last but not least, activated charcoal. Maybe four capsules. Now, mastic gum and charcoal are two antimicrobials that do not affect the liver. So they kind of stay outside of it. They don't damage it at all. When you take stuff like oregano oil, broad spectrum candida supplements, digestive enzymes, pretty, pretty rough on the liver. 
So if you guys haven't been feeling too good with your meals, whatever you've been eating lately, definitely try the combination of kefir as a probiotic with masticum and the charcoal as an antimicrobial. That being said, I'm gonna wrap this up before I say anything that will get me taken off of YouTube. So as I mentioned earlier, you guys can go to frank defilecom to support me through all of my businesses. If you could drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. That being said, I will unfortunately be filming another video for tomorrow. Thank you.